Hey, this is Alex from MidiSequencing.com. Yeah. And today we are looking at Exhale by Output. Yeah. All right, so Exhale. This is, they call it a modern vocal engine. And what you just heard is not what it is really about. It's more of like a collection of awesome loops and uh, slices of vocal stuff. And then along with that, it also has a synthesizer and you can play, you know. A lot of cool different stuff um, in the notes section. So it's divided. The loops and the slices are in these two sections. And the note section is kind of your synthesizer thing. And it's got the macro knobs here, which will change. And morph the sound for you. So it's got a lot of really cool stuff you can play in here. The loop section, I think, is what a lot of people will be interested in because this this and the slices, because you can really quickly find cool stuff to get you inspired and start a track. You just click and... And these can be changed the same way with the macro. And if you look in the search for a specific sound, they've got all these wonderful adjectives to get you in the right place. So if you want something pure and something electro, uh, I like those. I can hear a track starting from there. And then if you want to change one of the loops, this is pr pretty dope. You go up to the engine and you can individually like detune or change where the loop is. So this shows you what's selected. We got that selected, you can tune it down. Or reverse it. Change the starting spot. And if you want to change the whole, all, like this is like a bank of loops, so it's 13 different loops. If you want to change where they're at, you click the, the note up here, whatever it is. That'll tell you what key you're in. And... It's like something else. And all this stuff is not only, you know, pitch adjustable, but it's all tempo synced too. So if you have something that has a pulse or any motion or whatever, uh, when you change your tempo in your DAW, it will change with it. So that is cool. Let's look at the slice section. So uh, let me go back to main. And this is very similar to the loop section. It's basically the same deal. See how fast you can change it. And if you want to change any effects, you go over to the engine and you can add effects on it, you know, change the 
Change the effects there. The macros are basically, can be assigned, I think, up to six different things. If you want to change something with a macro controller, you know, that you're making your own preset or whatever, you just click the macro button. And then this will tell you what it is uh, assigned to here. Uh, you got to select up here. So it'll tell you three is assigned to this stuff, two is assigned to this stuff. And if you go to your engine page, uh, you can, yeah, basically click and assign it to whatever you want to assign it to. If that makes sense. So you turn that on and then boom. Remove it. So you select a match girl and select a thing. If you want to do that, if that's your thing, you don't have to because there's a lot of great presets. <laughs> it's easy to find something you like and then just play with the macros there. Cool. So let's take a look at the... Let's go back to the synth section and just take a look at a few more of the presets here. Oh, uh, something warm. It's something that is complex. The multiverse. That belongs in a horror movie. Cool. So how this works too, by the way, I don't know, I didn't show you this yet. It's uh, very similar to Output's other stuff. You click on the engine and basically it's two different samples that are being blended together. So if we mute one of them or turn it off, it totally changes the sound. And you can completely, you know, if you like the effects that are on there, but you want a different sound, they've got um, basically in here four different banks of samples. So we could get this girl, and it tells you up here what it's going on. Tune it back up to um, zero ish. Uh, uh. That is that that is like a detuned opera. Uh, my vocals are fucked. All right, that'll do it for the demo and tour of Exhale. Thank you for watching. I've got more reviews coming up. And there's always tutorials coming too, so if you want to like or subscribe, please do that. And come on by midisequencing.com for more great stuff too. All right. Have a good day. Peace.